Now guys, let's talk about the main theorem of the trigonometry, okay? We'll, we'll just prove that by using the Pythagorean theorem, and that's all. Look guys, we have the right triangle with the sides of A, B, and C. And we have the angle, alpha. To get the sine value of the alpha, we have to divide the opposite to the hypotenuse. Opposite is A, hypotenuse is C. To get the value of cosine alpha, you have to get the ratio of the adjacent B divided by C. Yes? And we know the Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared equals to C squared. Now guys, from here, let's try to find the sine squared alpha. Sine squared means if we get the both sides squared, we get A divided by C squared. It means A squared divided by C squared. In the same way, you can find the cosine squared alpha. B divided by C squared. It will be B squared divided by C squared. Now, let's Now, let's get this both sides sum. Sine squared alpha plus cosine squared alpha equals to A squared divided by C squared plus B squared divided by C squared equals C squared, the same denominator, so we have to just add the numerators. A squared plus B squared. We know that A squared plus B squared equals to C squared from the Pythagorean theorem. So, c squared divided by c squared, it's clearly 1. So, the main theorem of the trigonometry is sine squared alpha plus cosine squared alpha is 1. Yes. Now, guys, 